I'm Josh, and I'm going to be working with my partner, Lewis, and we're going to be teaching you today about matrices. Matrices are numbers organized in brackets that help display information a various amount of ways. This is a two-by-two two matrix because there are two rows and there are two columns. The first number in every matrix is always the number of rows, and the second number is always the number of columns. So there are three columns in this matrix, so it's a one-by-three matrix. All right, so this is how you add matrices. Um, to add or subtract matrices, they have to have the same number of rows and columns. You can see both of these are three by four matrices because they have three rows and four columns. So how you add matrices is you take the corresponding numbers and you add or subtract the numbers together. So two plus negative seven is negative five. Nine plus negative three is positive six and so on until you've solved this matrix, which should be those numbers corresponding in both of those matrices in this matrix. Hi everybody, my name is Lewis, and I'm going to be teaching you how to multiply matrices. When multiplying matrices, you have to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix corresponds with the number of rows in the second matrix. If you have that down, so I see, this matrix is two by three, and the number of columns is three. And this is a three by two, and the number of rows is three. So that's gonna be fine to multiply. So then, since you have twos here and here, that means that you're going to have a two by two matrix when you're done multiplying. When you're multiplying, first, when you have, you're looking for the top left here, you are going to use the top row of the first matrix and the left column of the second matrix. So you're going to start off 2 times 4, there, negative 3 times 6, there, and 5 times negative 3. And then the sum of that is going to be the number in the top left. So then for the top right, you're going to use the top row on the first one, and the right column on the second matrix. So 2 times 8, there, negative 3 times 11, there, and 5 times negative 1, there. And that sum is going to equal the top right number for the matrix. And then for the bottom left number, you're going to do the bottom row and the left column in the second one. So 4 times 4, there. 7 times 6, there. And 10 times negative 3, there. And then for the final corner in the bottom right, you're going to be doing the bottom row and the right column. So 4 times 8, here. 7 times 11, here. And 10 times negative 1, here. Finally, you're going to be adding them up. So you're going to have 2 times 4 equals 8, then ne negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, so take that away, that's going to be negative 10 so far, and then 5 times negative 3, negative 15, is going to equal negative 25. And then for the upper right, 2 times 8 is 16, plus negative 3 times 11, negative 33, so that's going to be negative 17, and then 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, so that's going to equal negative 22 for the upper right. Then, for the bottom left, 4 times 4 equals 16, 7 times 6 equals 42, so that's going to be 58, and then 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, so that's going to equal 28 for your bottom left. And then for the final corner, you have 4 times 8, 4 times 8 is 32, then 7 times 11, that is 77, 42 plus 77 is 113, and then 10 times negative 1, that's negative 10, so you're going to have 103 for the final corner. And that is how you multiply matrices.
Now you may be wondering, where are they used in the real world? Well, matrices can be used to represent real world data such as traits and habits of certain populations. They're also very common in making encryptions. They can also be used in computers and other technologies such as 3D games and animations.